Hello everybody, happy Saturday night. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Oh, why does that look off? <laughs> hey Willow, what's up? I'll deal with it then, okay? Go on. <laughs> ah, what was I saying? Hey, yeah, happy Saturday. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, we're gonna be checking out a weird game that I came across, I don't know, maybe two months ago? I came across it a while back, and the name is what really caught me, and I kind of forgot about it until just recently, and I was like, oh, it came out. I really wanted to check this out. Um, so today we're going to be playing an airport for aliens currently run by dogs, which is actually really descriptive of what's going on, I think. I don't know. I actually haven't uh, played any of it. It says time 11, 12. That was just me testing the game. It actually popped up immediately with a... Uh, um, an achievement that was just, hey, thanks for checking out our weird-ass game. I was like, okay, that's cool. So let's do new file and jump in. I know... Oh, hello. Oh, can I... I'm gonna have to change pupper decks. Oh my god, I love it. Teleport to safety. Is there danger? Is there danger? I want there to be danger. Let there be danger. Okay, that's good. Can I adjust the sensitivity? I can, good. Uh, no, no, no mute. I want all of that. Let's turn the music volume up a little bit. I don't know what that was. Okay, there's some music. Okay. Oh, that's better. Krista, how do I how do I talk? Interact X. Ooh. Oh hey, you remember that dog you hired to cater our anniversary? He dropped a piano on your head and locked us in a metal box. Oh, bad dog. In hindsight, trusting a dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, I can see where that would be a problem. I don't blame you for doing it. But a mistake was absolutely made. Did you say he dropped a piano on my head? Or he said he made... <laughs> I'm gonna go with the... I'm gonna go with just abs embracing the absurdity. Uh, which is not that a dog would drop a piano, but that it would imply that it was good at making chicken parmesan. Also, chicken parmesan sounds really good right now. And yet, the first course was cake. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, already. There was no part of this where the seven-foot dog looming over our table wasn't as suspicious as possible. Uh, what happened to Cage Dog? He's a seven-foot tall dog. At a certain point, I didn't have a choice. Is Cage Dog the seven-foot tall dog? Because maybe he sh his name should be Seven-Foot Tall Dog, then. By the way, you guys, I haven't had a chance to test this game out at all. So please let me know if I need to make an adjustment to the audio. I dodged the cardboard avalanche, he jumped backward off the platform, and last I saw, he flew off on a hang glider. Wow. This dog is talented. Try not to think about it too much. I won't, don't worry. Anyway, I put together this board to help you move your limbs again. <laughs> oh, thank you. You remember how to use airports, right? You remember. You're fine. Uh, I just got ambushed by a seven-foot-tall dog caterer. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I mean... Honey, we got ambushed by a seven-foot-tall dog caterer. This is not the type of selfishness. <laughs> Matt Butterfly, how's it going? How you doing? Happy Saturday. I have su suffered traumatic cardboard-related head injury, my darling. Where did the cardboard come in? Was the piano cardboard? I will choose not to resent the extremely large metalworking dog. Um, I'm gonna go with that one. How have I been? I've been good. I've been tired. I've been uh, trying to shift some scheduling stuff around uh, because I always, no matter how I how much sleep I get lately, I always feel tired. Um, but I've been good. Just doing a lot of stuff around the house. A lot of uh, been working on a lot of behind the scenes stuff. 
First week. Oh, summer camp. Yeah, that that'd do it. That'd make you want to sleep all the time. You've thrown a mi you've thrown mind altering substances at dogs and made deals and translated arcane languages and taken flights all the time. This is second. Wow, there's a lot implied there about my personal history that I would love some background on. You are, as they say, in your element. Brain damage notwithstanding. Yes, notwithstanding. Yes, I'm probably not suffering catastrophic brain damage at all. That's why you have no face. Relax for as long as you need, port. need to. This airport is undergoing renovations, so things will be quiet for a while. No one will bother you. When you're feeling up for it, meet me on Beachwell. I'll be waiting in the middle of, what, of that big concourse leading to the greater lighthouse. Beachwell, got it. Have to get back to my job with R and Dog. You know how it is. The big project can't exactly wait. Got it, Krista. I'm glad the giant piano didn't break your head. Happy anniversary. I love you, weirdo. Oh, I love you too. See you on Beachwell. So yeah, the from what I understand, the premise of this game is uh, my character and Krista, his wife, are the, wow, last two humans in the universe. And they get separated, which I think that's them splitting up right there, and I assume we'll find out we can't get to Beachwell pretty soon. And he's stuck in an airport designed for aliens, currently run by stock photos of dogs. Hence the title. Uh, but what really got me is that the dogs are all stock photos. And it's just my level of stupid weird. Like, okay, this sounds just dumb enough to be insanely awesome. <laughs> hey, lady, how's it going? Uh, so I have use item left trigger, throw item right trigger. Scroll inventory, which I have nothing. Hey, I have a jump. I have a jump. Uh, oh, there's the piano. Okay, how do I get out? though, is my question. Can I climb the... Uh, nope. Okay. Some cake. I like the cake. Can I have cake? Cake. I want cake. Give me cake. Got cake. You. You. Let me out. Are you cage dog? Well, if I can get up there, I can climb out, I think. Right? Yeah! Freedom! Witness dog. Oh, it follows you everywhere you go. Look at that. That, uh, boutonier, right? That's what they're called? Boutonnier? Oh, uh, sup. <laughs> Did you watch my, me and my fiancé? My fi fiancé and I. Uh, I don't know, you tell me. The only thing I saw was an extremely large dog doing a heroic job running an independent catering service, despite a number of obstacles, including a lack of thumbs. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you'll say the same. Oh! Oh, are you threatening me, witness dog? Anyone asks, this conversation didn't happen. Okay. Weirdly threatening dog. Eleven nineteen, a.m. or p.m. Or is that already military? Which I guess would just make it a.m. Who's a cute boy? Hello, pet dog stream. <laughs> His eyes pierce my soul. There's a lot of folk walking around talking about frosted tips these days. They all scare me. Yeah, I'd be scared of frosted tips too. Another of the same dog? Is it the same dog that can teleport when I look away? I keep thinking about the Mothman. Wait, like... That dog is... Yeah, right? Especially since it's a two-dimensional two JPEG. Is that a hammer or is that the background music that I hear? Oh my god. <laughs> Ticket dog. Oh, you're not Ticket dog. What the hell? Hello, I have short-term memory loss. Need a porting, boarding pass to Beachwell? I do. Yes, and I need 50 of them. Nope, I need one. Here you go. Enjoy your flight. I've opened a gate to the rest of the airport for you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, why? I don't get why is... Ooh. Well, I recognize some of that as uh, language. 
I wonder if we can translate that. All right, uh, gate one. Seventy. Well, it's not anywhere on that. Airport manager. Greetings. I apologize you have seen Phobos in this state. We're currently undergoing major renovations, so the next time you arrive here, things should be substantially altered. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We prefer to be seen as charming rather than, uh, broken. I'm not the typical information dog, but since Claudio still isn't here, I'll have to do. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Mark! How do I find the gate for my flight? Is the airport teleporter still operational? If we have a teleporter, why do I need a flight? Do dogs... Uh, do dog airports renovate often? What's with the fire hydrant? I don't want to know. Do they renovate often? <clears throat> often? In a sense! The layouts tend to remain recognizable, but the stores alone change so much. Every time I go to an airport, some old favorite has closed down, a familiar slate of storefronts has shifted, or there's some new friendly face to meet. It keeps the magic of travel alive. Yes. Yes, it's the airport experience that keeps the magic of travel alive. Not everything else other than the airport and the airplane and everything related to the two that's magical about traveling. The constant change within a familiar, comfortable package is what made me want to work in airports. And here I am. Mission accomplished. Uh, is the airport teleporter still operational? Renovations aside, absolutely. That's a pretty big aside. I like adventure, but I'm not a big fan of death. You should be able to teleport to a point of safety from your menu at any- Oh, I have the teleporter. And if you fall off the edge of one of our uh, admittedly eccentric creations, a teleportation will occur automatically. So, like, what kind of danger am I expecting here? Because <laughs> literally all I know is that I'm stuck in an airport run by dogs. I haven't heard anything about combat or anything like that. How do I find the gate for my flight? Compare the alien, alien language around you to boarding pass. I believe so you'll soon find your- Well, shit, I knew about that. What about the signs? I saw the signs! Oh yeah, we do have those. Use that. All right, I don't want to know what's up with the fire hydrant. Enjoy your trip and don't be a stranger. How does one even fall? I don't know, fold it in half? Phone booth? Dog parader here, who would you like to call? Uh, Kristen Marshall. Oh, call mom? You got it! I'm sorry, sir, but that number seems to be out of service. Yeah, I know, thanks. That implies terrible things. Real good papa. Real good papa. It's just the same thing with a different... You know what? I think I like this machine better. Normally I like blue, but something about the way the dog looks in this one is more appealing to me. I love that the buttons are a paw. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um... This is some kind of shop? A dresser shop. It's a dresser shop. Cabinet dog. Cabinet dog looks serious. Cabinet dog kind of looks like it's undressing me with its eyes. Cabinet dog makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna cut to the chase. I bought a lot of cabinets. And by a lot, I mean every single cabinet I could find. For years, I have done this. I am a mariner drowning in a sea of cabinets, and I have created this ocean, because I am Poseidon, and I don't know what this metaphor means anymore, but I'm still talking. Suffice to say, I have so many cabinets. Please save me from my cabinets. Buy a cabinet. Buy several cabinets. <laughs> I like this dog. He's weird. Why cabinets? Why look at a sunset? It's just beautiful. But you need to look at all this? I mean, can you really make, ask that question? That is a very good point. But I really, really like cabinets. I would take... I would take more than one cabinet, but I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I can say it. We're both doing the best we can, and that's all that we can do. Thank you. Now take the cabinet before I'm tempted to get a new one. I will take genuine cabinet. 
I have genuine cabinet and ticket. Hey, Dogstrian, hello. Gonna get on a big old jumbo jet operated by an artificial brain. Hey, yo. I feel like that stupid voice wasn't that far off. I love that it... <laughs> okay, there's a lot implied by this bathroom. ATM? ATM. I don't have a... I don't have a card, though. Airport bar! Bartender dog. That dog looks like it's a bar... Well, maybe not a bartender. Like a distillery operator? Or dis... Distributor... Distri uh, dispensary. Dispensary. Welcome to the back end. It's named that because butts are on the back of your body. What does that imply about the drinks? I've been told it's extremely funny. Now, I see that you're thinking, you want to drink from your own toilet bowl, don't you? No, no, no. I mean, unless it's like a cup, novelty cup. Well, consider this a home away from home, a place to forget your troubles. Stick your head underneath a hygienic and delicious tap of premium toilet water and lap that sucker up. <laughs> I think I love this game. 2021 game of the year already. What can I get you, my friend? Uh, what varieties of toilet water do you recommend? Do you serve anything that isn't toilet water? I mean, I gotta know the varieties, right? Oh wow, you basically can't go wrong where toilet water is involved. But I prefer a modern bowl paired with an aged reservoir. Mature taste with a modern edge? That's the good stuff, buddy. You could always drink from the bathroom, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, other dogs have been in there. Where's the ambiance, man? That's why I like working here. You see a thousand faces, and they're all happy to see you, because you care about the same thing. Also, they're dogs. <laughs> That's it. That is a valuable perspective. Least I could do, my friend. You enjoy that premium toilet water now. Is that premium toilet water? Nope, I can't even interact with that. Okay, kind of glad that I didn't uh, get any toilet water. <gasps> Puppies! I'm gonna do it! Tomorrow, I'm gonna pet myself! Right on, you crazy butterfly. Um... This is not my gate. No, this is my gate! I found my gate! Right? Yeah. Passport quick dog. Hello! Your plane is ready to take off, but I'll need your red passport fo. Here's something that's my passport. Unfortunately, this isn't the passport you need. Hit by the Photoshop. I know the manager, he'll be delighted to help you. Okay. The Photoshop, huh? What's the Photoshop? Are you Photoshop? You're Camilla. Hello! Have you visited the time zone before? Define time zone. At least it has line. <laughs> yes, a wedge. Very important. How did he cut the wedge? How did he cut the lime wedge? Uh, yep, I have been in time zones. Ah, I'll shut up then. Enjoy your adventures with decay and obsolescence. Okay, I'm thinking time zone meant something else. Uh, I found a cactus you wear. Cactusary? Flower dog. Flower shop. It's a flower shop that sells nothing but cactuses. Cacti. You're not bribe dog. Hmm. Oh, wait. Or is this my... Did I have the wrong... There's a run button. I might have had the wrong gate. No. Oh, wrong time. Whoop, don't fall off. You do look like a dog that would take a bribe. Hey, friend. You can see my name. 
I can see my name. We know what's happening here. We know what's up. We know that real business. I'm bribe dog, baby. And I need something to hold all my bribes. A container of some kind. A wardrobe, a bin, a cabinet, or something. Well, sir, am I just the human for you? Why does he look familiar? He doesn't look familiar. Oh. What if I... I won't be able to board my flight. Here, how about this? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Did you get me a container for my bribes? Oh, thanks, friend. And I didn't even have to ask. Okay. Can I talk to you now, boarding dog? Your pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. Hand me your boarding pass and we'll get going. Well, it's space, right? I think. I think we're going in space. I have a teleporter in any case. Not sure I'm comfortable with having a drunk pilot. Apparently it happens more often than you would think. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Here's my boarding pass. Thank you for trusting your drunk pilot. They appreciate your kindness. I'm drunk too. Their one job is to bear witness and you are... I thought their one job is to pilot. Make sure you've supplied whatever associate needs. Make sure you've applied whatever my associate needs. And please, have a wonderful flight. Planes mostly fly themselves at this point. Right, it's just the landing part, basically. <laughs> Wait, did that seriously go whoop? This is my plane. This looks like a PS2 loading screen. So, lady, how are you doing? How have you been? I feel like it's been a little while. I trust that corgi with my life. Embark! Managed to catch a flight for the first time after getting knocked out by a seven foot tall. Oh, it's a husky. Okay. Oh, we are going. Can I close this? I don't like window seats. Really, I don't like any seat. In oh, God. Hi, diet dog. How are you? Oh, who's a good dog back there? Don't distract me. If I take my eyes off this meal for one second, I'll eat the entire thing. Uh, what? <laughs> Don't you usually look at something when you eat it? How long have you been doing this? That's the one I'm really curious about. Eight days, four hours, and 13 minutes. I'm hoping that if I stare at it long enough, it'll explode. You haven't eaten in eight days? This isn't just about getting my diet in order anymore. It's a battle of wheels! Okay. Oh, do I have to land at the airport? Then my end was in row was that Oh. Well that's good that you're back on top of it, but yeah, I, I've definitely been there where it's like Beachwell Interstellar. Entered the airport known as Beachwell. Awesome. I like this place already. Um yeah, I've been there where you like you you let something run out, or you mistime it, and then you're just like, oh, fuck. And you just have to wait while everything crumbles around you. Questionable dog. I don't know that any of these dogs are questionable. Although Ticket Dog seems to be looking everywhere except at me. Well, that one's kind of looking at me. The rest aren't really. Can I Whoop. But I want to jump. Are the dogs meant to jump off of here? Am I misjudging the height? Is this all really close and just really tiny? What are those? Are those sharks? Are those seals? I have so many questions about the world I've found myself in. Although the name is certainly apt. It's definitely covered in beaches. Where's Chris Christy? Kristen? What's her name? Oh, we have to check out the pupper decks. Krista! I was close. Scrap worker! I'm surprised Chris, uh, I'm, I'm surprising Krista with a catered dinner at, yeah, dinner, at our next meeting, courtesy of Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages. He's a bit intimidating, but I think Krista will love it. None of this is suspicious at all. Krista had to remind me how basic motor functions work after Cage Dog trapped us in a cage. Should have seen that coming. We're supposed to reconnect in the Beachwell Airport on the main concourse. Main concourse. Okay, let's 
find... Oh my god, there's so many dogs in here. Witness dog. He watched me get kidnapped by a seven-foot-tall hang... Uh, seven-foot-tall dog with a hang glider. And, yeah, I get it. Airport manager. Filling in for the usual information dog while Phobos is undergoing renovations. That's it? Just those... But what about bribe dog? How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. I feel like this was... This has got to be on PC, too, right? Seals, T-Rex. It does kind of look like dinosaurs. Or seals, or something, yeah. We'll find out, I'm sure. Take a dog. Hello, I have short... Is that why he keeps changing? Because he has short-term memory loss? Need a boarding pass to Elf Planet? Not right now. No worries, I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Take a dog. Mar uh, marinara Trench? No. Although that does sound delicious. Penwarstrian? Penwarstrian? Not everyone can be a detective, so I've decided to do crimes instead. You know, as a fallback, it's in the same field as your desired, uh, you know, biz um, line of work. It's a good fallback. You're still working in the same field. You get to work with the people who are in the field you want to work in. Oh, that's all... That's it. That's all. <laughs> okay. Well, he's going to be doing a crime at some time. He's going to do a crime. Pedogstrelf? Pedogstrelf? I don't even know. Yeah. Do I look like someone riddled with anxiety? I don't know. I'd have to step outside and come back in. Oh, oh, no. Enigma! How's it going? Two years, doge. How's it going? Happy weekend. Hope you're doing well. How did the, uh, how did the stream go? How did the recording go? Smooch. <laughs> oh, no, I look like someone riddled with anxiety, don't I? You know what? Now that you say it, you really do. All right, I don't see Krista anywhere, and I can't read any of this yet. Anybody see Krista? Christy? Going for it. Woohoo! Oh god, there's no swimming. Oh, there is. There is swimming. Okay. I wish airports, more airports had a, a pool inside of them that you could just jump off the second floor. That's not a dog. <laughs> well, it's not a two-dimensional stock photo, so it can't be a real cow. Texas dog? Hello and welcome to Hot Steaks, named after our delightful mascot, Roger, who you can see hanging from a very thin thread directly above us. Oh, I've already had a piano dropped on my head by one dog, Texas dog. I don't need... A fake cow dropped down. In case it isn't clear, Roger is very much alive. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can hear that. Uh, hopefully not. I'm from... Oh. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. How can I help? I'm not changing the accent. <laughs> What's Roger's deal? Aren't you from Texas? This is uh, a lot of meat. This is not a lot of meat. Roger's a bovine entrepreneur and performance artist. One day he looked in the mirror and realized that he was made of meat. I mean, I guess that's true of all of us, right? I guess we're all made of meat. Oh, now I'm thinking about like just my bones being in here and moving around. Also, he realized that if he dangled himself from the ceiling of a nice restaurant slash squeaky toy supplier, he could call the business high stakes. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know that if I was opening a restaurant slash squeaky toy supplier, I don't know that I'd be able to come up with a, a name pun that good. And there's something about, like, toy steaks 
that always look better than real steaks. The rest is history! I can I have no I don't want a squeaky toy, I want a steak. I was um there was one the other day you had. Uh, I can't think of who was on it, Enigma, but the thumbnail on YouTube was, um... What was it? Um... Blood Omen. Uh, I watched some of it. it. It was a little hard to hear a half of it, but, uh... That was a good one. I like that. I didn't... I can't... I'm sorry, I can't remember, um... <laughs> Can't remember uh, the name of the guest at all, for whatever reason. It's been a really long day, you guys. <laughs> I had a lot of people calling and asking why the bank was closed today. Most of them were unhappy and thought it was not a good reason. So it's, it's been a long day. Uh, give me a squeaky toy. Enjoy! Go Brooklyn! <laughs> well, I will take squeaky salami. Oh. Is it bad that that looks tasty? Yeah, it was not, it was not, uh... One person literally said that, um... Well, you know, I... Never mind, I shouldn't talk about work. Too much. So, is this a suitcase? What? Disgruntled dog. I hate briefcases! You seem to be in the wrong store, then. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them! The snapping buckles, and fiddly locks, and rough handles, and weird materials they put on the outside, they get messed up as soon as you use them! I mean, come on, man! What is even up with that? Love customers, though. Welcome to the briefcase outlet. It's an outlet for my feelings about... <laughs> It's an outlet for my feelings about briefcases and a method to continue to distribute them in a world against my better judgment. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to buy a briefcase. Why don't you... Yeah, why don't you just stop selling them? I couldn't subject anyone else to this life. I do it so that others may not. Well, he's just a damn hero in that case. It's a devil's bargain, and I've made my peace with it. That tracks. Just... Don't tell my kids. <laughs> Promise. Cross my heart. Uh, I, I am going to need to buy... Uh, yes, I, I am going to... I do not recommend it, but I cannot stop you. I do not believe in briefcases, but I will take one. Actually, can I use the briefcase outlet to express my feelings about briefcases too? Oh, I kind of have to choose that one. Of course! My outlet is your outlet. Friend, speak your truth about briefcases oh I mean I don't want to he's such a he looks like he gives the most comfortable hugs so I don't want I don't have strong opinions one way or the other about briefcases you guys uh, I know shocking right hot take um but I don't want to he looks like I don't want to I don't want to risk not being able to boop that snoot at some point so I'm going to say I hate them. I hate them so much. They don't even make sense. They are like bad suitcases, actually. Or a slightly less versatile purse. Uh, I mean, if you're going to hit somebody with it in the head, I think you'd want to go with briefcase as opposed to purse. But he's making good points. Dude. I am so proud of you right now, dude. <laughs> okay, well, if we have to get a brief... I, I can't I can't say I hate them and then buy one. Oh, can I have sunglasses? I want sunglasses. Clerk dog. I have an employee discount. What am I supposed to spend it on? I can't wear anything here. I'll take one shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling. We sell shoes. The last delicacy. Wow. <laughs> the good stuff. Do you think they go real well with the rest of my outfit? Sir, I appreciate the trust. 
But I know absolutely nothing about the concept of clothing or fashion. I'm a dog who works retail. You're right, I have clearly brought this question to the wrong person. None of this makes sense. <laughs> Fair enough. You wanted a pair of shoes? Yes, give me the good stuff. Excellent choice. Oh, they're so blocky. Do you want the good stuff? No, I'm fine. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't want to eat here either. <laughs> oh, I thought it might be like a photo booth, but it's not. Oh, man, I wanted sunglasses. I still haven't found Christy. Krista. Janitor dog. Oh my god, he's got a he's got a yellow mop bucket. I love it. Oh hey buddy, you're probably wondering why your boarding pass igloos and little fun whatnots don't stick around when you leave the airport, huh? Or when you turn wait, what? Or when you turn around. Or when you blink. It's cause of me! Sorry about that. Name's Janitor Dog. My parents were very literal. Is he saying if I drop stuff, he picks it up when I look away? I'm not so much working here as working in every instance of an airport across the 274 known galaxies. They said I was the ideal candidate, so I dared them to clone me, and they did! Worked out pretty great. Cool! Okay. I'm gonna go see what's up with Shark Dinosaur Island over here. And the Mario star that I can't... Hey, I found her! Babe, what's up? You made it, and your memory seems fully intact now. Congratulations. I mean, you still don't have a face, but yeah. It's your eyes. There's a weary acceptance in them that I appreciate and empathize with greatly. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy my existential terror, sweetheart. I've been thinking about us missing each other. I can't use a phone because of security around the big project. R and dog's orders. You know how it is. I'm always scared that one day I'm going to show up to a meeting too late. You won't be there and we'll never find each other again. It's a big universe. From an existential view, we're destined to miss each other at some point, so there's no use in worrying about it. That's a terrible way to look at that. We've come close. You've been a little late because of flight delays, and I'd be thinking about getting back to work because I'm always thinking about getting back to work. Then you seem to find me just before I enter my gate. We get our little piece of time together, and I board. It's a wonder if any of this works, and that we're engaged. God, how did that happen? Well, we do seem to be the last two humans in the galaxy, or 274 galaxies. With my job, it feels like I'm always the one leaving. I don't know. Maybe it's easier for you. You remember when we woke up? I remember waking up in a cage. After getting hit with a piano. Eh. Yeah, I do. We've been dating for two weeks. Okay. We woke up surrounded by dogs. Apparently, there were aliens at some point as well. We missed that part. What about it? In a world that operates on entirely different rules than the ones we're used to, we still found lives to live. That's why I stayed, you know. I mean, I think you're cute. But I could do without a relationship. I'm fulfilled. Dogs provide three... Dogs provide... Th <laughs> dogs provide free therapy, which is rad. The tipping point for me is that we woke up at a point in time where humans basically didn't exist anymore. And you didn't take our relationship for granted. You didn't try to repopulate the galaxy? Ugh. That'd work for like one generation and then it'd be fucked. Or it specifically couldn't be fucked. Uh, let's see. You didn't take it for granted that I'd stay. You just wanted me to. I knew I liked you. But when we became literally the only humans alive and you were still trying to win my heart... That's when I knew I loved you, after two weeks of dating. I didn't know that. I didn't tell you. Didn't want you to get a big head about it. How about we go to the Marinara Trench next? I could use the change of pace. I'm into it. I like it. Marinara Trench. 
All right, meet me at the Marinara Trench in Terminal 2. I love you, weirdo. I love you too, you faceless freak. All right, so I need a ticket for the Marinara Trench. Corny Kara. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, I sell ice cones, which are made up of a bunch of tiny flavored pieces of frozen water that make your tongue cold and your brain happy. That's a weirdly accurate metaphor or explanation. Want one? Yes. Oh, strawberry. Fuck that. Very carefully. Take the strawberry cone, for example. We kind of just have to make the ice red. And dogs being a bit colorblind. Is that a chunk of marinara in your flavored ice? A bit of blood? A speck of strawberry? Who knows? Oh, okay, I'm way less into this now. What's important is that it tastes good and that you don't think about it. You know what? I'm going to not think about it. Okay, these are, I feel like these are both equally important. Like, this improves the business, but also I have serious questions. Oh, excuse me. Listen, I like surprises. <laughs> if there's any food that stands for a belief in surprise or that your strawberry treat is probably not flavored with blood, it's the noble ice cone. I do you mean like a Oh god, what are they called? Ice cone? Is that what they're called? That's not what I called them. I like this game. Yeah, I do too. It's weird. I I'm worried a little bit by the size of this level that there might be it might be a bit esoteric in what it wants me to do at certain points. It's weird. I can go walking anytime I want, but I don't want to go walking. Is that weird? No, I mean... Oh my god, pilot dog. I love you. Flight isn't here... Is, isn't, 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 isn't here yet. Gates closed. Oh, that's right! The pilot's drunk! <laughs> In some ways, isn't the flight always here? Did we discount that time exists? Yes. Otherwise, the attendants get here about 90 minutes before we take off. I'm, I'm always waiting, pal. I'll get wish coming to me eventually. No one escapes. Not really. This drunk pilot is more nihilistic than I was expecting. How about this drunk pilot? Light isn't here yet. Okay, they... Wait. Oh, shit. I, he said something different. Fuck. There are ways to time to make go by faster. Small coffees, beds, benches, other stuff. But I don't want to skip through time. Why would I? I know what comes next. I have concerns about these dogs. They're planes. It's a bunch of airplanes that are just stuck in the sand. I was not expecting them to be airplanes. Okay, I think we've had enough of the dogs. Administrator dog. Okay, well, you know what? I think I know where we need to go, though. Pedogstrielf. Oh, it's an elf dog. I get it. From Elf Planet. You probably wouldn't get my complicated lore. Don't worry about it. All right, I won't. Gotta get to my catch my next flight. The music could be a little... How is the audio, by the way, on the game? Do I need to adjust it at all? I was just thinking that... Why is the elevator go underwater? Oh, count it! 
Three points. Or something. Alright, Marinara Trench. It was this one? Marinara Trench. Yes, please. I will. Well, unfortunately, none of those are the combination of characters I need. Eight oh six. I need it to be eight oh six, huh? One fifty two. That is not ninety minutes. Woohoo! Why is there an underground banana store? Underwater banana store. Sorry. So these, like this is where the pilots are hanging out, but I don't know if it's, 806 is what we need. 806, okay. Uh, is this the right one? It certainly seems like it, and hey, you. Probably still not here. Small blessing. 90 minutes from... Oh, God. Wait, how do I kill 90 minutes? Do I sit on a bench? Oh, that's kind of bullshit. This should be moving me. What is... flying past me? Through the air. Oh, sit. There we go. Sit. Tell me I didn't miss my flight. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Am I supposed to be stuck? Oh, there we go. Has it been 90 minutes? How much longer? Damn it. Okay. I hope this doesn't... I hope I don't get stuck here, because I don't know if we can look up a, uh, a guide for this yet. Aren't you a handsome boy, veteran dog? My bones ache, kid. Probably from fighting in the wars. Which wars? All of them. Okay. Okay, there was one war that I missed. That's just because I overslept and everyone in my platoon forgot to turn on their alarms. But that was a sleep war. So I guess we won that one either way. Oh yeah! Never was in any danger, considering I was piloted in a, a 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super mech. Impressive! Jacking into the mainframe that lies beneath all things to destroy the evils that haunt our soft, vulnerable reality takes a grim toll. I think I might go into restaurant management. I, I do, yeah, I gotta know what you call the name. 30,000 pounds cybernetically enhanced super mech. And sons. <laughs> oh, I love it. That and sons is just perfect on there. <laughs> what is this? Is this a doctor? Dog to dog, MD. Uh, oh, hey, I'm a dog. If you're horribly injured, deathly sick, or just a little under the weather, I'll be giving you medical attention. Without thumbs? You alright with that? 
Uh, I'll... Tr I mean... I do love when dogs give me medical attention. Settle down, buddy. I save lives here. If you hit a point where you'd like to save... Oh! It's a save point. Okay. Can you, uh, save me? Done! Your progress has been saved. And by progress, I mean life. Cool. I need to go find an 806 terminal. I don't quite understand if... Damn it, I... Did I make a full loop? Oh, I just jumped off on a different spot, I think. Okay. Oh. This dog is jacked, you guys. Oh my god. It's so jacked. The moment I stop lifting, I feel like angels start crying, bro. They just want to see me transform into my best self, bro. I can't be letting those angels down, bro. The buff stream. <laughs> oh, God. This is so stupid. I love it. Um... It's a lamp shop? It's a lamp shop. I'm terrified to know what this dog's opinions of lamps are. A skateboard shop? It does appear to be a skateboard shop. <laughs> if only I could read! Penwarstrian. The only justice in this world is a border collie turned personal trainer named Mike. Okay. I actually. <laughs> I'm gonna make a point to use that quote sometime in my personal life. Mike Justice. Oh, even better. That guy still owes me money. <laughs> okay. Well, now, uh, the only justice in this world makes a little bit more sense now. Alright, we're looking for... Doohickey 2. It's not any of these. Shoot. Uh, you're not a dog. Rodney. The fuck are you doing here, Rodney? Rodney the Cursed Dog. Okay. Ah! I am not who you think I am. I am not the successful Caucasian businessman known as Kevin Williamson III with two ex-wives and four children I see on alternate weekends. I am a dog named Rodney trapped in a man's body. Ah! Help me, help me. I don't want to be a human being anymore. Dude, you and me both. How can I help you, Rodney, the cursed dog? The Baba Yada. Oh my god. I know I said it earlier, but I'm really like, this better win some kind of award this year. <laughs> the Baba Yada cursed me. She probably had a good reason. I don't know. All I know is that my human business associate mind. All I know is my human business associate mind, and it thinks I can reverse the curse if I have ingredients. We mix the right stuff in the right order, and I'll be a dog again. A beautiful dog with beautiful fur and the ability to poop wherever I want without feeling bad about it. I mean, are you sure, though? Because, like, I watch, like, I let my dog out sometimes, and he sometimes looks really self-conscious about where he's pooping. Of course, my dog also likes to take 10 minutes to find the perfect spot, so maybe he just feels bad about wasting my time. So, can you get me a can of Scarlet Bovine Soda? Start the process? Maybe fix me, fix me try first? Fix me first try? Okay. Uh, I don't have any Scarlet Bovine. Maybe you, maybe you could have a good life as a human being? As opposed to a dog? I mean, what are we fucking even joking about here? Well, that's easy fix. Get some. <laughs> okay, solved. 
that's a genius resolution to that. Okay, so I think we I think we have to rescue Rodney, right? Guys. Where can I find ooh, arms? Punching sports. Spirits! Spirits boo! Scarlet bovine soda. Did I see did we see a soda store anywhere? Information dog. Welcome to Beachwell Airport. I'm Claudia, and yes, this airport is very vaporwave. Please don't ask any further questions about it. <laughs> How do I find uh, the gate for my flight? How do I get a boarding pass? And where I can do some shopping? What's uh, vaporwave? <laughs> you know, I don't actually know what vaporwave is, but this does look like all the vaporwave thumbnail thumbnails I've seen on YouTube. Okay. I guess we're doing this. You know how sometimes you feel like learning how to juggle and studying classical architecture and maybe starting an electronic band named Welcome Wagon? And a few minutes later, you're like, man, I'm really glad I only did one of those three things. Some people, that moment where they realize they almost made several bad decisions come 12 years from now after they made several bad decisions. That's vaporwave. <laughs> Let us never speak of it again. Anything else? Um, the boarding gate at the end of the pier. How do I use it? What boarding gate? <laughs> uh, okay. I know where to do all the shopping. So, we gotta find a soda store. A dog trail. Wizards are insecure nerds. Pass it on. Will do. So what's this black hole store? I suppose I should have been looking at the signs above the store for drink, like possibly that right there. That looks like a cup. Oh god, what have I wandered into? Orbo. Welcome to Orb. We sell Orb. We are Orb. And of course, Orb is. Orb is. How can Orb inhabit your life today, my friend? <laughs> what is Orb exactly? Orb is. Everything you are, everything you were, everything you will be, it's Orb, man. It's all Orb. Orb is. Is Orb the Void? Are we standing inside Orb right now? Ha! Ah, that's a good question, man. You're a funny guy. Are we standing inside Orb? Classic. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave. Oh, thank God I was able to leave. I was a little worried about that. What's up, Pabuffstrian? I feel pretty insecure most of the time. Phew, took five months of intense therapy and squat sessions to get strong enough to say that. He's a different kind of strong. Is that a prison? That really looks like a prison. Why is the prison so close to the airport? So we got bananas, bowls of toilet paper, more bananas. Okay. Safety dog. Hi there, friend. I sit behind this cool booth all day and help keep the airport safe. If you find anything dangerous or weird while you're exploring, bring it back to me. I'll give you a cool reward. So, anything like you turn anything you'd like to turn in today? Um How can I tell if something is dangerous or illegal? I I try sniffing anything I encounter before I interact with it, but that's backfired more than once. Cool. <laughs> Honorary cat. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I just became an honorary cat. I'm a cat girl now. This is the greatest day of my life. 
<laughs> I understand this fe feeling keenly. I don't, I'm not a cat person, so I don't understand what it's like to want to be one, but congratulations. So I've been working on my cat scent. Cat scent, cat, ax, ax, cat scent. Mind telling me what you think of it? I'd love to. Okay, this is taking a lot of work, so even if it's bad, please don't laugh, okay? You got it. Okay. Okay! <clears throat> the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, who is napping, and probably dreaming about something delicious. The cat nearby chose not to get involved. Snitches get scritches, etc. Ah, uh, that was wonderful. Thank you. I really have been working hard on it. I want to take the title that was entrusted to me seriously. Say, so you really helped me even though you didn't have to. When I became an honorary cat, I got a unique bolt of yarn. It's a symbol of trust. It's pretty important. I, I want to give you some of my yarn. You're awesome, and I think you deserve it. Well, that's not something cats don't share, so... Thing is, I need to make sure I only give it to someone good. I could hurt a lot of good folks if I mess this up. So just to make sure, are you a good person? Uh, I mean, I did. I am suffering from brain damage, but yes, I think I am. The humility is lovely. I'd appreciate a clear answer, though. Oh, um, <laughs> yes, I am a good person. Fantastic. Feels nice. Oh, oh, what is? It? Oh, they're like butterflies or something. Okay. Finding someone to trust like this. Thanks for bolstering my faith in good people doing great things. Take care, you fantastic cat girl. Did I get the yarn? The yarn! The yarn's getting away. Alright. Still need to find... These are all gates. Th well, there's a two. Oh, no. These gates read entirely different. I don't know if they're arrivals or what. Penoirstrian. Oh, Noir. I get it. I'm investigating the case of who farted, and let me tell you, it's not going well. Okay. Uh, is that because you don't have any leads, or you have a lead and you don't like where it's leading? It's five o'clock on a Tuesday when she walked in. Of all the Penwarstrian detective agencies in the city, she had to walk into mine. As soon as the door opened, I could smell it. But the question was, who dealt it? This is... Oh, it's a magic store! Hello, chicken. Who might be a real chicken? Magic dog. Presto! I've got a customer! How many customers these days? Shrewd deduction! However, contrary to all external evidence, I'm very popular. It's okay if that isn't the case. Not everyone gets magic. But it's so cool! It's literal magic! It's a form built to delight! I mean, it is. Like, have you seen those videos of the monkeys seeing the, the close-up hand magic? That's how people feel as kids. And then they get old and jaded. And they're like, oh, it's up his sleeve. Or something. It gives every interaction a small whisper of whimsy. The thrill of, known, of the known unknown. And the ability to share joy with others. I know. It's nice to be understood. Thank you, I needed that. No problem. That's what I'm here for. And also to figure out a way out of this airport. Alright, so I need drink store. There's another shoe store. That's... Mm, uh, high stakes. The briefcase store. I don't think the time's actually changing at all. I'm not sure how to feel about all that. How do I get over... Oh, I can go through there. Okay. So are any of these a drink? That's a bathroom. Another high stakes. 
flower shop. Oh, photography. <laughs> photography. Okay. None of these are drink places. Wait, where did I find a... Oh, where was the... Shoot. Where was the... What, did Phobos have the, the drink place? Where was the drink place? It was back on Phobos, wasn't it? Oh, oh God, what am I stuck in? Oh, trees. All right, high stakes. Roger, yeah, I know, I need... No, I've already got meat. I need drink. Drum store. Is it a bucket? I'm not sure what that is. Nope, magic store, okay. Some kind of moth shop? Anxious dog. Oh. Listen, I'll do anything you ask. Just don't tell my boss that I peed on the headphone tree. <laughs> Secret safe with me. In that case, at puppy school, I cheated on the obedience test. Oh. When I was 11, I stole a fire truck. Damn. Anxious dog. I have seven false passports and a squeaky toy in my closet ready to go if the law catches up with me. <laughs> Sometimes I fart when I'm talking to a customer, and I don't say excuse me because I'm hoping they di didn't notice. That was a weird break in the text field, but whatever. Didn't notice, but it was really loud, so they absolutely noticed, and there's a hitch in conversation where we're both forced to acknowledge that I'm a coward who pretends not to have a butt to save myself 0.2 seconds of embarrassing confession. I'm not sure I love my wife. Wow. Okay. <laughs> also, I'm a dog. I know you're a dog. I think that last one is a biggie, to be honest. Tell me more. I'm good now. I have no more secrets. I am invincible. Good for you. If I need music, I know where to come. But not headphones. All right, Camilla, I have not visited a time zone. Being new to something just means you can reveal a new piece of yourself in the process. The time zone is a pocket of distorted time space tucked within three cozy walls so we aren't flayed by the unleashed forces of entropy. Step inside and you can watch time fly by. Literally, it goes so fast. Uh, that sounds insane. Both these things are very true. That said, it's actually safe to do somehow, so we aren't going to question it. Enjoy and have a fantastic time! I still need a drink. Where can I find a drink? Well, I need it to be 806, so I guess let's... Oh, God. I was not expecting... So I'm trying to find a uh, drink for a... I don't remember what kind of dog. Oh, uh, Rodney the Cursed Dog, who has been cursed by Baba Yaga Dog to uh, appear as a uh, successful Caucasian businessman. Oh, God. Okay, but I was just traveling through time right there, and I'm going to see if I can catch my flight. I just realized I think the clocks in this game move in real time. So we might have to come back once we find a drink place, because... All I've been able to find is uh, meat sticks. <laughs> There's also uh, buff dogs, pabuffstrian, pabuffstrians. We might see one. Oh god, no! I I passed it. I passed it by. <laughs> Alright, it was gate two. Ah! Fashion dog. Board. No! 
Where's my... Well, the drunk pilot's gone. There are whispers in the streets of a bold new invention. Clothes. I have shoes. I want some. Dog fashion moves lightning fast, so any item of clothing that's reasonably cool will do. Worst case, I can spin what I'm wearing as the next big fashion trend. So yeah, bring some bold clothes from my wardrobe, and I'll prove you for boarding. Uh... Okay. Hold on. Something trendy. How about shoes? Incredible! A bold fashion item! A new direction for the market of wearable accessories as we know it! This should keep me on the cutting edge for at least the next 17 minutes. I've approved your boarding with an extra note for style. Enjoy your flight. Awesome. Your pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading to... Oops. Hello, posh dog. Balderdash, the flight depart- What? Is that why they disappeared? What the sh- Balderdash and fiddlesticks! But no, I have to meet- I have to- I have to meet Krista and, uh, and the Marinara Trench. Of course, it's free, easy, and the ticket dogs are extremely pleasant to interact with. However, on principle, I am still troubled. Understandable. Here's hoping our next attempt is more successful. Good luck to you, human person friend. Well, shit. Damn drunk pilot taken off. I suppose it's going to be a completely different ticket now. Which means I gotta wade out into the water and get the... For whatever reason, the ticket uh, booths are all floating in the sky. Maybe we'll have time to find the... Uh... Oh, wait. Is there a drink store under here? Is that drink? That might be drink. that drink that looks like drink bartender dog perfect welcome to the back end I need um, sparkling water but that just made everyone fart on their flights Jeez. Do you know what 245 dogs cooped up in a tiny space and farting all the time all at the same time smell sounds like Armageddon <laughs> understandable okay well I don't know if that other dog is getting his uh What is this store? Why are these underwater? I still don't get it. Oh, that's the bathroom. Okay. I need an elevator, please. Unless I can just swim. Oh. Wait, can I just... Whoop. I can. I can teleport to safety. Perfect. You're broken the laws of physics and figure out a handy way to get yourself out of a horrible map. <laughs> Alright, I need another ticket to the Marinara Trench. Alright, I've got my ticket. Got my ticket. Oh, that's not good. Why is that happening? Why is it still on fire? I'm underwater, aren't I? I'm very confused with why my ticket is on fire. Why is my ticket on fire? He's got nothing for me. Shit. Okay. Um. Well. Oh, what time is it, though? We need the we need the time booth thing. We need the time zone. We need to do the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. Maybe this time we get out a little bit earlier than two minutes before the flight leaves.
I don't understand why the... Oh, now it's out. David Bonnie. <laughs> or Boney. David Boney, that's it. Oh, hi there. I'm just looking at this poster. David Hooney. <laughs> Met David Boney for the first time. How's your day been so far? I can't do, uh... I can't do... I don't... I can't even think of what David Bowie sounds like off the top of my head. Not too well, but I'll be okay. I'm doing pretty good. Sorry to hear that you aren't feeling well at the moment. Hope that changes soon. I, uh... Need to get off well. Sorry to be abrupt. Beach well is nice, but it's just a giant beach. Thank you, lady. There's only one ball, and it's too big to even play with. Oh, that was Orb. Yeah. This is a nightmare for so many reasons. I know this is a big question to ask, and we just met each other, but... Can you give me a red passport? I'd do it myself, but Photodog won't let me inside after I said his glasses look silly. Oh, that's... Okay. That's what the Photoshop's for. It's the passports. Um... Wait, you know how to read that poster? I sure can't just replace the letters in the poster says. Do not trust this dog. This dog specifically. He cannot be trusted. Please do not trust this dog. Oh man, that isn't very nice at all. What poster? Illegal bones. I've got a bunch of them and I'm happy to share, but they're illegal, so uh kind of banned from everything. You're a good dog, David Boney. What is an illegal bone? Well, it's easy. It's like a regular bone, but illegal. I should have guessed. Thank you. Oh, this is the dog. This is the one that says... Okay, so... Can... Do these... They do translate directly. So anytime we see what looks like pod, it's dog. And that one's this. Do not trust. So the, the bow tie is a T. The backwards R is R. The upside down Y is a U. I'm never going to remember all that. We're going to have to write this down. Alright, but I need a red passport from the passport dog. And I think this is the pa photo dog. <laughs> Whoa! You look incredible. I would ask to take your picture, but we've all got places to go and cool things to do, man. If you need a red passport, though, you can use my photo booth. All I need is a sweet briefcase. Well, aren't you lucky that I know where to get one? I don't think I have one currently, but for a good reason. I will get you a sweet briefcase. That's the lamp store. I know there's a briefcase store around here somewhere. Question is, where did it go? Damn it. All right. I think it was over here, right? I don't remember. It was so long ago that we were at the briefcase store. Were you here before, dog? The dog stream? I just want frosted tips, man. I'm tired of being a dog and not having frosted tips. Hmm. I can see where that would be an issue. All right, give me, give me another briefcase. I perpetuate Oblivion. All right, thank you for Oblivion. So we give this to Passport Dog. We get a red passport from Passport Dog. We give that to David Boney. 
And he gives us illegal bones. I don't know what we do with the bones, though. I feel like I'm playing a Sierra game from the early 90s. I've got this sweet briefcase for you. I will put this to... <laughs> very good use. Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby! So, I can... Which one is... Is this red? Red passport! What about this one? That's not me. But okay. Bones to safety dog? Illegal! You're right, yes! He wanted illegal and dangerous things. I brought you this red passport. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just changed my life. If you'd like an illegal bone, please let me know. I'm happy to share. Yeah, give me an illegal bone. I need bones. I know exactly what you're talking about. If anyone asks, this bo the bone was legal when you found it. <laughs> Good God. All right. I have illegal... Is that a femur? It's an upper leg bone, I think, right? Or maybe a... Upper arm bone? I don't know what those bones are called. Alright, so safety dog was down past orb, I think. Oh, it's another pit dog street elf. Wizards are insecure nerds. I think we already knew that. Do I have to... I want... Can I... Because I have to hold down... Toggle sprint. That's what I want. Oh, God. No. Almost lost. Here we go. The buff strand. Oh, that was the insecure one. I wish I could remember what the first one said. Friendly business dog. Uh, mm. Safety dog! I found this bone. Give this a quick once over. You sly dog. Enjoy your reward and come back anytime! Oh, a beach ball. Cool, what do I do with that? So, okay, so these symbols, these little shiny things must mean I'm... This one is Honorary Cat, by the way, lady. I feel, I thought you might appreciate this one. Um, Did we see one that wanted... No, who wanted the ball? Oh, who wanted the ball? We just talked to someone who wanted a ball. Was it this dog down here? <laughs> oh no, that's Frosted Tips Dog. Who wanted the ball? Veteran Dog. Uh, I like this dog. This dog was cool. Just sitting here thinking about my restaurant. And he's gonna open a restaurant called Thirty Ton uh, Mechanized Robot Soldier and Sons, or something like that. It was a good idea for a, a restaurant, in my opinion. Dragons all over the place. If you know where to look, I become very good at not knowing things. <laughs> Which dog wanted the ball? I don't remember. That's the dog that peed on... No. No. One of these dogs peed on some headphones. Frederick. Oh, oh, hey, you got through the maze. That's neat. 
I'm over here, Frederick. I've got a book good I've got a book to get back to, but, but I'm happy to help if there's something I can help with. I'll take the coolest book you have. Oh, that's a pretty easy pick. The book I'm reading now. It makes copies of itself when I'm not looking. That's probably a bad thing, I assume. <laughs> Might be kinda sorta infected with dark magic. Watch out for the Okay, that's got a, a grimoire. Okay. That's gotta go to um. What even is this? I don't even remember getting this. What is this? Oh, it's the yarn ball. Okay, silver yarn. <sighs> Who wanted... Somebody wanted a ball, and I don't remember who it was, unfortunately. No! Still not quite sure why that has a... Oh, those are both shoe shops, okay. We haven't gone in here yet. Gorby! Hi! Nice to meet you! This is a gift shop. Uh, space-themed one. Want a souvenir? I would love a souvenir. Here you go! Actual gun. What the fuck, Gorby? Did you just hand me a gun? What do you mean? You gave me a gun, Gorby. Oh! That's weird. Hmm. You smell scared for some reason. I can hear your heart beating faster. It's so clear, it's almost like I'm looking inside you. Are you scared? Uh. Nah. Was I supposed to say a bit? Yeah, well, maybe we give it to Safety Dog, but also, like, we already gave Safety Dog his thing. The moment I stop lifting, I can feel the angels start crying. Oh, we've talked to this guy again. Can't be letting the angels down. Gorby, you're in multiple places, huh? Did you also get uh, cloned? We never talked to Chad Shakespeare with the backwards hat. Forsooth, my dude, and welcome! Chad Meatspear. Let thine eyes roam across the bodacious expanse of my boards, and let me know how I can help. I found within myself a sudden, all-consuming lust for carpentry. Enigma loves his dog. <laughs> Chad Shakespeare is a pretty killer name. He's doing the full voice. <laughs> I also really like wheels. After some goth dogs told me that an ancient art doth exist, combining the, which combined these two titans, I was inspired. Long story short, I blacked out for six months. I woke up to a successful business, and I decided it was within my best interest not to ask questions. This is my purpose, bro. I will pray that you find thine own in due time. Thank you, Chad Shakespeare. I'm talking to you with a gun out. I should probably not do that. Bro! Once again, I am honored to have your visage smile upon me. And stuff. How are you? I am well, Chad. Is it safe for that board to be spraying sparks ever? The board is on a journey. It currently hath need of an eternal grind. And it is not our place to judge it. It also looks very cool. Which lessens my sense of danger. I sure hope this is not a situation I come to regret. Bro, oh, once again! Oh. I am in need of a skateboard, Chad. Please remember to wear knee pads. I would not wish for thy rad buttocks to be wounded. Oh, no, I need... Oh! Well, shit, I'm not getting either of those now. Alright, I have shake... I have... Board. I have gun. We'll travel. <laughs> um, 
God damn it, did I miss the time again? Walk in there. <laughs> but it's it's not surfing though, it's skateboarding. Uh I am wizard. Nope, I guess not. I wish I could remember who wanted ball. Did Orb want ball? God, that freaks me out. Orb is! Welcome to Orb. Against my buttered judgment, I will have Orb. Enjoy! Orb certainly enjoys you. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. Received a dark spherical gift for free. That can't be good. Is this guy the guy who wanted? Is Magic Dog the one who wanted? I need to become very magic. Yep, still magic. Okay. Don't go anywhere, Magic Wand! Magic Wand! Okay. So I'm starting to develop a pretty expansive uh, inventory, and I'm not quite sure what to do with a lot of it. I will turn you into a cat. That's Janitor Dog who just picks up after us, so. God damn it, I wish I could remember. I was talking about connecting to the ocean. Okay, he's clearly vibing with something else then, because that dog definitely doesn't skateboard in the ocean. What about you, posh dog? Okay, I need... I still need... Bribe dog, boarding quick dog. This is not the right... Uh, thing for us, though. Damn it! Okay, it's either underwater or up on top. It shouldn't be this hard to find... There were two dogs that wanted a ball. Or one dog that wanted a ball, but it was confused by... Orb. Which, to be fair, Orb is pretty confusing. Flower dog. God, I wish I could remember where it was. I could have sworn it was just right over here somewhere, but... This is bro, but the fucking sand is right there. <laughs> soda. Soda where? Somebody needed soda too, yeah. Oh, that's right. Vending machine. These work now. Is this... Hold on. It's We need crimson, right? That seems like the right one. Scarlet bovine. Okay. Scarlet bovine goes to... Down here. I don't remember which dog wanted Scarlet Bovine. Hey, Chad. The only justice in this world is a Border Collie. Oh, we read this one. Mike Justice, who owes me money. I think we found a, a muscled Sandy. <laughs> balls, balls, balls! That's what we sell, and what I love! Tennis balls are our most popular item. Want one? Uh, can I have another type of ball? Let me think! No. Sign me up for one tennis ball, then, I guess. Catch! Let me know how it goes. That's a good one. Alright, I have tennis ball. I have so much... I really don't like how the gun's pointing at me. <laughs> Chad needed soda. Or not Chad, Randy. Rodney. Welcome back! You got that Scarlet Bovine Soda? Yes, I do. 
You got it! You got the soda! Okay, let's try the elixir. Ah! Uh. Ah! Okay, that didn't work, but we learned something valuable in the process. Drinking a single energy drink will not remove a witch's curse. I'm gonna have to do some flying. Search for the next ingredient we need. In the meantime, if you want office supplies, I'd be happy to give you some from my nest. Your nest? Every day I wake up in a nest of assorted office supplies that I did not purchase or want. It is the weirdest and most terrifying of this curse's side effects. Thanks for the help, bro! Okay, what kind of uh, office supplies do you have? You got a photocopier? Dude, I have so many photocopiers. Enjoy! Well, I am just carrying around a photocopier. Posh dog. So that's one problem solved, and we have... Somebody definitely asked for... Whoop. Did you want... You do. You do look like that. I cannot for the life of me remember who wanted... Gotta be somebody down here. The only thing that understands me is the rain. It is wet, dubiously productive, and spiraling downwards at an incredibly fast rate. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I get the, I get what you're going with there. What is this little, oh, it's closed, okay. Oh god, oh god, what was that? That was terrifying. Do I need to worry about oxygen? That's right, he only wants to give me toilet water. And I don't want toilet water. Where'd the m oh, there's the music. I got concerned there for a moment. <laughs> Wonder what happens if I throw orb. Oh god! Orb just travels in a straight line forever. Welcome to the po toilet paper and banana store. If you ask me why we sell those two things, I'll tell ya! They always ask. Why do you tell them? Sell them. Oh, that's easy. It's a foolproof business plan. The bananas are for eating. The toilet paper is for what comes after. Talking about poop. Um, just a banana. Sorry, we don't have bananas. They're all on display. Can I get some toilet paper? My dear friend, I would be delighted to give you some toilet paper. Cool. Uh, what if I give you gun? Oh, just another ball. Okay. Now I have two beach balls or one? Nope, just the one. Oh, that's the fart dog. That's right. Ah, oh, shit. I do not remember who wanted the ball. Fashion dog, boarding clerk. Seeker? What you, uh, what you see before you might appear to be someone just working a mundane office job. However, I do have hobbies. I'm a seeker, constantly looking for the next horizon broadening experience. As such, I wish to become magic. Well, I have a thing for that. How do you become magic? Point a magical artifact at my face and use it. Uh, bounce a grimoire off my nose. Okay, grimoire. Nope. 
I don't know if this is working. Oh! Oh, this is anticlimactic. You've opened a door into a new plane of existence for me, and yet... I kind of just want to nap for a while. Weird. Anyway, I promise is a prom... So there's a U... Mm. <laughs> Well, that'll be useful for when I have to take that flight, but I don't need that right now. That being said... Okay, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Free money? Dollar dollar bills? Found out the dogs don't care about the concept- Oh, I wish I knew what that said. Uh, I, I love this, uh, machine. Nope, it bounced off of him. Okay. What happens if I use orb on you, huh? Nothing. Great. I just, oh god, how do I get out? How do I get out of orb? Oh. Now who's an insecure nerd, huh? Apparently me still. Who is it that wanted ball? <laughs> Wanda on an elf dog? That's what I was thinking, but it didn't seem to do anything to that elf dog. Oh, you know what? Can I can I put ATM in or can I put money in here? Nope, it just gives me more money. Okay. Dogstrian, you weren't here before. Do they only show up at certain times? Okay, well, those are gonna fly off into space. Okay, he has complicated lore, which is not helpful. Drunk dog is drunk. Damn it. What about you? Cora? Kara? I would love a strawberry ice cone. I really hope that was actual strawberry and not the blood like they implied earlier. He wants frosted tips. Oops! The ball! The ball! Why are you freaking out now? Why did he why did he drop a ball? Ah, oh, whatever. Um... So that's the dragon dog. That's Texas dog. I know he's not going to say anything about... Borkids. <laughs> the friendly neighborhood flower shop for all your flower shopping needs. If you want a bouquet, I would be delighted to sell you one. However, you would simply like to smell the flowers for free. I encourage that as well. You deserve it, you know? What's your favorite flower? Some flowers are favorites. You sniff long enough and hard enough, your nose will get really hot. If you keep sniffing, the sneeds will fly out of the flower and up your nose and into your mouth. You'll hack up a bit, but that's okay. It keeps the seeds from getting in your lungs. I mean, his logic is pretty sound. 
So now you got all these sunflower seeds roasted by your nose heat just sitting in your mouth and you can just chew away. Thanks for the uh, tip. Just sharing the knowledge where I can. Thanks for asking, buddy. I'm leaving now, forever. Did you? Ah, oh, that's more shoes. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna need more shoes, honestly, but you never know. Did you want? Oh no, I don't. Maybe a good idea to have a bone just in case. Something vibrates inside your skull at 8.42? What time is it currently? Or is it? It is 8.42. Okay. Stuff gets weird. Stuff gets dangerous. <coughs> Don't use time-bendy things at the same time. So no bending time while in the time bending machine. Got it. No, he just sells music stuff. God, I do not remember for the life of me who needed. That makes it really freaking annoying. Barista dog. This is a new one. Place called Coffee Boy. I do the coffee stuff. Got an order? Nobody's ordered coffee. Columbrella? <laughs> Whoa, you're a tall one. I bet you get rained on a lot with your head all in the sky like that. Want an umbrella? Sure. That's... That is a very large umbrella. Okay. Um, shit. I honestly don't know what to do next except use the time turner thing to... Get my flight going. Where's my ticket? I have so much crap. 806. Can I rewind? Nope, we're just hanging out. <laughs> Magic does nothing to time. Oh god, it's... Oh, why is it military all of a sudden? It wasn't military before, was it? <laughs> well, while this, while well, time moves ever onward, and I waste away my life. Oh, hell. Sorry. Long day, like I said. I apologize for that. Uh, is there like a hint thing, or maybe the pupper decks has something in it? Rodney, David Boney. Airport manager. Well, none of that helps, unfortunately. Come on, 23. I'm wondering if maybe... Cause I know we saw somebody who wanted a stupid ball somewhere. What time's on the ticket? Eight? 
I don't know why this ticket is red still. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> we'll leave at 7.30. Okay. Let's head up the concourse. Exciting, but it's not as useful as I'd hoped. No, these gates are all different. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my gate? This is bad. Why did the gates all change? Shit. I'm not even sure if this tick will work anymore. Not that way. Oh boy, all the fun of... I, I know, right? Except it's made for aliens and run by... Slightly less than helpful dogs. Wait. Pad oh, Padog's joke, yeah. Zers and Zers. Oh, shut up. Shit, shit. Four, five. None of these are the right. Oh, God. No, get rid of that. I could use a little bit of a hint game <laughs> before I throw myself off the edge of this ledge. Take a dog. Boarding past a Phobos. No. Boarding past to <laughs> Uranus. No, thank you. Marinara Trench. Yes, please. Okay, this one isn't on fire, so that's good. 753. At U8. Where is U8? By the way, uh, lady, they were not seals or T Rexes. They are uh, crashed planes that we were seeing over there. <laughs> U6, thingy four, U7. Thingy one, thingy two. Okay, so not here. You still want the walk. one of the reasons I hate traveling. He wants frosted tip still. I don't know anything about that. Unless maybe we're supposed to get a specific kind of dragons all over the place.
There are no... Oh god, 7.53, we gotta hurry. Or 7, wait. No, 7.38. Okay, we gotta find our, we gotta find our flight. Soda can I don't need. Come on. I'm trusting that these signs are actually gonna tell me something useful. U8 is this way. I think I'm reading that correctly. Man, we're gonna get to Marinara Trench and Christy isn't gonna be there. He'll have left. I still wish I knew what to do with Orb. Guys are all fulfilled. U three, U eight. Here we go. Fashion dog. No. Do I have? Oh, thank God. Okay. Ticket, 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 ticket. Have a wonderful flight. Sweet, they didn't take off without me this time. Okay, well that took a minute to figure. So I guess if I get a flaming ticket that's got a big red X through it, it's no good. Fussy buddy. Oh, I hope this all goes okay. This is my first flight ever. What if it all goes wrong? Uh, you'll be fine, little buddy. You think so? Have you flown before? Yes. I hate it, personally, but... I'm just afraid I'll do something wrong and get in trouble. My seat is fully in the upright... Is my seat fully in the upright position? What's the opposite of upright? Downright? Right, right? Get something wrong, it's not like they'll kick you out. <laughs> Have you tried deep breathing? That's called panting, and I'm a dog, I do it all the time! Which is very small, and the situation is very stressful. Uh, ear scritches, clearly. I think your being here makes a difference. You can have the whole armrest if you'd like. I'm gonna sit here and stare past you out the window until we land. Okay. We will, yes, we will, one way or another, we will land. <laughs> you know, I think I believe you. Maybe I'll try sleeping for a spell. Land at airport. So what does Marinara Trench look like? It's not quite so vaporwave, I assume. Marinara Trench Interstate, wow. I mean, I don't know why this is Marinara Trench, but I also love that I constantly have the umbrella out. I, I don't see Krista anywhere. The dog's free. I've got a cousin who believes he's invented time travel. I worry about him. What, Camilla? Oh, I like the music here. Penwarstrian. I see the world in black and white. Also pink. Ah. I get that joke. Okay, now I'm not sure what's going on with the music. Good God. Information dog. Well, howdy, hey! Welcome to Marinara Trench, the galaxy's source of Marinara! Yes, we know that. We know what that viscous red liquid below us is. Yes, we do not question where it comes from. That isn't blood! It's Marinara, you silly! I'm Claudius, and if you have any questions about the airport, I'm here to help! Need anything? Um. Let's see. 
Where are all the cacti coming from? Having trouble finding my gate. Ah, that could be due to a multi-terminal system. If you're having trouble finding your flight, hop on the tram. The gate could be mere moments away. If you're still having trouble, you can always try reading the signs. There aren't enough signs, and they can't they can't tend to be misleading. But that's just because reading is bad. Got it. All right, red liquid hovering over there. I have been told to say that it is definitely marinara sauce. You were told? Yes, I was told to say it is definitely marinara sauce and not blood. Wait, yeah. That is what we in the biz call a clarifying statement. <laughs> Are we hovering over an ocean of blood, Claudius? Probably not. That doesn't fill me with confidence, Claudius. Life isn't designed to fill you with confidence, buddy. That's why we politely ignore it until it feels bad about itself and leaves us alone. Wait, life or the blood? It's sunny, the music's great, and you can take a ride over a chunky meat ocean whenever you want. What's not to love? The chunky meat ocean I have concerns about. Yeah, you know, I want it to be marinara sauce, but it doesn't move like marinara sauce. So I have concerns. Chad Shakespeare! Forsooth, my dude, and welcome! Let thine eyes roam across the bodacious. Oh, that's it? Nothing new, Chad? Oh, I was hoping you had something new going on. Anything new? What is this store? <laughs> Radical Samantha? As you can see, this is a disturbingly primary colored establishment because we're in the technology business. I assume you want to possess the wonder of an incredible, all-powerful smartphone? Uh, yeah, actually. This place seems familiar. That's because we're a converted orb. Oh. A bunch of dogs escaped orb. Our founder clung to the first thing we saw as a representational buoy for our sanity. And we decided to find, decided to find our feet again by building a cozy little intergalactic telecommunications company. Long story short, our mascot is now a banana, and it is very easy to have a healthy relationship with technology. After recovering from a relationship with an eldritch god, am I carrying around an eldritch god? It's a lot to live through. Uh, what happens if I use orb on you? May I have phone? That phone is the most normal looking thing in this game so far. Okay. Cabinets. Orb dog. Orbo. Wait, we knew Orbo. You know what? I'm good, Orbo. Shit, I missed the tram. Magic shop. I write very sternly worded letters to my friends and family telling them to take care of themselves. I hope they're reading them. I mean, how stern do you make them? There's two orbs? I'm a little concerned about that. The orbs are multiplying. Furious artist. Can you believe that you get you can get banned from a gallery just for destroying the other artwork? I mean, it's shocking. Charlatans, charlatans, and cheats. They're all mindless hacks. The destruction is the art. That's an interesting way of looking at it. I'm not sure I'm actually sorry for you. <laughs> I'm not interested in your ambivalence, bud. The dogs are letting me back into another event, like fools, which means I have an opportunity to exact my revenge. I'm going to become stinky. I need to transform into something so stinky that my hygiene overshadows the entire event. If I pull this off, I will watch someone vomit, and I will like it. 
that transformation requires help, unfortunately. Which is why we're talking. How am I supposed to make you stand? I can think of some ways. Can I throw you in the marinara? Well, you could throw something filthy at me, like your dreams of a quiet suburban life. Oh, come on. It's not fair. It might not cause enough of a stink to get uh, revenge on any dog critics, but the thought would make me sick. <laughs> Fuck you, cat. Oh, I should save game. There we go. Whoa, my phone! God, did I crack the screen? No, we're good. Okay. The dog's screen. I have nothing to say, and I am choosing to believe this is a good thing. That is certainly your choice. Wait, I, I went through all the trouble of talking to that dog to get toilet paper, and I could have just picked it up? Ugh. Oh, what? It's like a weird graphic glitch with this rock. And that rock, actually, too, now that I look at it. Construction dog. Oh! Construction dog's in a wheelchair. Sir, I'm a dog with a simple dream. I want to get behind that doggone waterfall. I have basic construction equipment. I have some rickety safety barriers. I've got a can-do attitude and the ability to speed away from anyone who asks me for a permit. I am prepared for industrial engineering. Will you join me in my quest to find out what the heck is behind that waterfall? Like a cool... Pr I mean, I want to be cool. I gotta be cool. You know I'm in. I didn't know, which is why I asked! You'd be surprised how many folks are not cool with incredibly rad, unregulated construction projects. So... Tell me more. Paint me a word picture. We need lumber. I've got scaffolding equipment. But we still need the core building materials. You bring me some planks and we'll be in business. Alright, I will find a lumber source. Which I guess would be a tree, maybe. Did I talk to you yet? I see the... Oh, yep, we did. Gorby, are you going to give me a gun again? Yep. Oh, I don't saw guns! <laughs> That'd be weird. Oh, shoot. Uh, not right now. I only need the one gun, I think. Gorby. Which, uh, now that I think about it, it's kind of weird that your name is Gorby and there's a weird orb called... Well, this is flowers. I don't think I'd be able to... You know what? Give me the, give me the bouquet. I'll give them to Krista when we see her. Christy? Kristen? I really should remember her name. More crashed airplanes. Carista? <laughs> We made a full loop now. I think we're getting close. Vending archaeologist. Oh, hello! I'm just marveling at this relic of the old world. The soda machine? Real good papa? Certainly! As the old saying goes, first there were humans, then there were aliens, then there were dogs. Well, I mean, no, not quite. In this scenario, I am, of course, one of the aforementioned dogs. I don't remember the alien period. The alien period was like a pungent, delicious snack. Short-lived and memorable. You see the writing on this vending machine? It's one of the few pieces of English language imagery left in the galaxy. A dead civilization finds continued relevance in modern society. How delightful! I mean, well, yeah, you're one of two humans left. You're dead, civilization. Yup! Have an axe, kid! Oh, shit. And keep axing questions! Okay, I have axe. That didn't work. Can I go on a murder spree? 
How, how can I use the axe to make lumber? There must be a way. Damn it, I need to find my fiance. I guess we try this. The tram? The monorail? The whatever? Tram dog Charlie. You don't want to get on this tram, buddy. Uh, do I want to ask why? I'm hoping you do. Knowledge is power, buddy. Ain't got knowledge, you ain't got power. And power has the word ow in it because knowledge hurts. Listen, if there's something wrong in this tram, it's fly through the friggin' window. You jump while you're inside this thing, it'll launch you in the nearest ocean. This is dangerous. No one should use this. No one should have this. Frankly, I'm surprised someone managed to finish building this without getting struck down for their hubris. The fact that this exists is a sin. Okay, so how do I get to Terminal 2? Listen, buddy, it's my job to point out problems, solutions, or some other guy's department. The tram is bad. It is wrong. Just get on board and remain as still as possible, okay? Okay, I can do that. Where did the tram go? It disappeared. I've got an axe that I'll use. I should also save the game. I think I saved it. <laughs> the dog did make me miss it, yeah. Which I guess was his whole mission there, so here we go. Ooh, what is that? Is that a radio? Get on. Stay still. Are we going? I'm afraid to move now because it's going to take off at it. Ugh. Any second, I feel like. Okay. The Pedogstri Elf. Get off! Ooh, we survived. Oh, what is that? That's weird. Pedogstri Elf. If you bet me a dollar I can't bench something, I will win and then eat the dollar. That's just how it works. Um. Well, I mean, I have a dollar, but I have nothing for you to bench. So I can see through it? That's weird. Is it just water? It doesn't look like the water we saw before. Coin. Oh, time. Hey, Camilla. Camilla, I need to... Ah! Rodney, how's it going? Hear me out. What if all I need to rela relieve the witch's curse is a good night's sleep? Um, not sure that's gonna help. Your objection has been noted and discarded. My apologies. Kevin Williamson III has a brain that is deeply entitled, and it's all I can do to keep him at bay. I need a bed, a cushy bed with a pillow and other accessories appropriate for a cursed human body. If I can just get one moment of pure, undisturbed sleep, I might be able to break the Baba Yadog's curse. So can you get me a bed? I mean, I don't even know where I would find a bed. There has to be in the dog with an appreciation for finely crafted sleep furniture. Find him! I will do what I can. Uh, first though, I gotta find my fiance. That's a big clock. Hey! There you are, Krista. Yo, where have you been? Uh, the plane left without me. I was hanging out with dogs. A lot of dogs. Happens to me all the time. It's a nice thing dogs don't care about rescheduling fees, huh? Or money. It's a little terrifying just how much dogs don't care about money. Um, it is nice though, not have to pay for everything. Viva la revolucion! 
We're doing a lot of batch testing in the lab right now. It's giving me some time to think. Also, time to finally show up to a meeting early. I have a bit of a wild idea. Have you considered making a friend, Krista? But I have you. What did you uh, have in mind? Well... I know most dogs I talk to are kind of my friend by default, and that's nice, but it's transient too. It's important to have friendships that go beyond a smile. That's why I was going to suggest that you, uh... What if you became friend? Whoa! What if I became friends with Cage Dog? He dropped a piano on my head. He was supposed to make chicken parmesan, and he didn't. He imprisoned me. Cage Dog who locked us in... <laughs> Cage Dog the dog who loves cages? There are... I can understand the objections. I was the one who said you should be more careful about trusting incredibly large dogs. The seven foot tall dog who liked dropping cages on me? But before he locked us into a cage, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. I don't know, he's deeper than a lot of the dogs we meet. You also have an on again, off again, friendship rivalry thing going on that seems like it has real potential. A rivalry, if you will. He's already betrayed you once. What's the worst that he could betray me again? Yeah, 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 Krista. I could get another piano dropped on my head. Can you promise to at least give it some consideration? I have yet to meet him. I know he's a husky and he's seven feet tall, but that's it. All right, you. Thank you, last I heard Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was in Patsville. Do with that information what you will. As for our next meeting spot, what do you say finding our way back to Beachwell? I want to get my tan on before work speeds up again. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I have two options now. We can go to Patsville or Beach Spot. Janitor Dog! Oh, this, he doesn't say... He says the same thing everywhere, huh? Whoop, nope, pick up my axe, need my axe. Gotta have my axe. So I'm still not sure where I find lumber. Or anything. I don't even have like a quest list in this game, unfortunately. Ooh, excuse me. Um... Dog. Hatsville. So, U4. I don't even know where that is. Looks like 1502. That's not on that list anywhere. You know, I actually haven't... I don't think I've seen any... Uh, That is a very Willy Willy Dogka. Well, hello, I am Willy Dogka, purveyor of sweet treats, emissary of adventure, and sinner of sins. Oh, that last part is uh. I did try and cut down one of the smaller cactuses, and it didn't do anything. But we can definitely try one of the larger ones. Do you want a golden ticket to adventure? Is it made of real gold? No, it's not made of real gold because they have no uh concept of money. Yes, it is wildly expensive. I was wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't be giving them out so often, but I am so lonely all of the time. It leads to a variety of poor choices. I'd like a golden ticket. Behold, a golden ticket! Please take care of it. What do the tickets do? They're golden tickets. You can use them for gold stuff, but not ticket stuff. It makes sure we take a special trip together. I also hear that it grants access to an exclusive airport lounge that I have not attempted to visit due to horrific social anxiety. What do you mean by us flying together? Well, you see, I've very slightly altered your reality with money. The next time you board a plane, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there. Tell me what that means, Willie Dog Cup. <laughs> okay, awesome, good conversation. No more questions now. <laughs> well, that's concerning.
You two. I need you four, not you two. And a tall cactus right there. That? Why do I have a picture of David Boney? It was a different dog before, wasn't it? Oh, I'm throwing things and I'm not meaning to. God, no, where's my axe? Mm, unfortunately, that didn't do anything. You, ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. You four, shit. I need you four. can't pet me. Oh, I disagree. I disagree with your disagreement. Contrary to any external evidence, I'm unpettable. In fact, I dare you to pet me. If you've already pet me, I dare you to do it again. Of course, you could always say no if you're a big old chicken. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Oh, uh, what if we pretended it worked and you pet me anyway? Fine. Thank you. How do I pet? Is that pet? Do I, I feel like I have to go to Petsville. I just love getting pets, man. Just a little old hug vacuum getting all the pets. Do I need a special petting device for garbage can? I, I don't want to fuck with the garbage can. You four! 15.20, what time is it? I need a clock. Oh, God, okay. No, it's 12.03? <sighs> Where was the time mover? I think it's all the way over there again. Crap. Oh, uh, Wait a minute. I just take this all the way over there? Weird little shortcut. Okay, whoa. It's a weird shortcut between. I had wondered if it was water. I wasn't sure. Alright, here's my time bubble place. And then, I'm not sure exactly what it is we need to do here. I feel like I need to do some research with this game. Although how, I'm not sure. Because it's definitely like, I wanted weird as fuck, and it's definitely weird as fuck. But that also makes it really difficult to navigate at times. Oh shit, what is this dog gonna need? One job is to bear witness. All right, and what do you need, bribe dog? Give me money. Oh, I actually have that. I totally have money. 
I have a lot of money. Government corruption works! I am Bribe Dog and I have no guilt, baby! Alright. Let me save. So we can come back here if we want. I, I want to see what's in Petsville. That's where we're, we're supposed to find... What's his face, right? Cage Dog. Willy Dogka, how's it going? You're here on my candy plane. Fuck, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you! I got you and you can't escape. Shit. <laughs> oh god, the loneliness has turned me into a monster. I would like very much like to know what's happening. It's a system which I suppose makes it worse. If anyone talks to me, a protocol goes into effect utilizing a great deal of time and effort to divert their flight. Instead of boarding a Lufa Airlines flight to Dogs, Drazil, or something, they'll end up on my candy plane next to me? You're the first person to talk to me in a very long time. I shouldn't have brought you here without asking. I'm so sorry. What happens now, Willy Dogka? I'll drop you off where you wanted to go. If you talk to me out in the world, this will happen again. I don't control the system anymore. It's complicated, and honestly, it scares me quite a bit. But I'll always make sure you get home, I promise. And again, I am so sorry. Loneliness is hard, but you should never force friendship. Glad you know that, Willie. I should have known sooner. It's kind of obvious. But thank you. I better be at Petsville. I'm a little worried because he said he'll get me home. Patsville Interstellar. Okay, wow, this place is huge. Um, I was not expecting this. Hmm. Okay. Oh, bed. We found a bed. I found a bed store. They are getting a lot bigger, yeah. Like, this looks like an actual... Well, I was gonna say human city, but it's... This is an airport for aliens, so I don't know if this was ever... That road goes up into space. And there's an airplane on it. Okay. Um... <laughs> so... I think we're gonna call it here for the night. Uh, I have now confirmed that there are certain things we need to bring back to other airports. So that might explain why... Oh, I know, Butterfly. I want to go... I want to keep going, too. But at this point, I've been up since, like, 6 o'clock this morning. And I've got to get up at, like... Well, I have to I have to get up at, like, 7 in the morning tomorrow. But I'm sure because it's Father's Day, the kids are going to try and wake me up and make me breakfast or something like that. Thank you, Enigma! <laughs> yeah, I have to work the whole day. It's going to be fun. Um... <laughs> But I'm sure they're sh I'm sure they're gonna wake me up and try and make me breakfast or something like that. So I want to get some extra sleep because I know I won't get to sleep in in the morning. But we will be coming back to this. This is I I just noticed it said paused. This game is so stupid and I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, we're gonna be coming back to this until they update. Uh, story of seasons. Uh, which I've seen the stuff that they have in that update, and it's actually going to be a huge quality of life upgrade. Um, we're going to use this as a chill stream uh, game. So, let's see. The next stream is... Mon no. Next plan stream is Tuesday. Um, I'll probably switch... Well, no. I'll probably do more of this. I'm not sure yet. Because I, I want to get back to Uncharted 3. But also, I'm really intrigued by this, and I would totally keep going if I didn't have to get up in the morning. Damn, streaming on Saturday night finally bit me in the ass. I've got to do it on not work nights. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope you guys had fun. If you did, please check me out on YouTube at Jeffrey Gaming. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, hello from the past from Twitch. Twitch sends its greetings. Um, all the streams get archived over there, and there's separate Let's Plays uploaded Monday through Friday now. Because I had to cut back because I was burning myself out on the work schedule I was doing. Currently playing through uh, Dishonored 2, which is a lot of fun. I just finished recording the Clockwork Mansion level. And I forgot how cool that level is visually. Uh, 
So go check that out, and if you guys like it, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free over there, and actually incredibly helpful. Otherwise, yeah, uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, say hi to your dads for me. <laughs> that came out weirder than I meant it to. Uh, and I will see you. There's a chance I might stream tomorrow night. We might do some more of this tomorrow night. I'm not sure. It'll depend on how the day goes. So keep an eye on the Facebook or the Twitter. I'll, if I do decide to stream, I'll announce it there. Otherwise, have a great weekend, and I will catch you on the flip-flop. And Enigma, thank you so much for the but Loki episode 2. What about... Oh, is that tomorrow night too? Is that... Okay. Well, I, I'll figure something out. Sarah hasn't watched it yet, and it's bugging the crap out of me. If I do stream at some point, I will make an announcement. So keep an eye on the social media pages. I have got to go to bed. I will catch you guys later. Have a great weekend.